организирахме това събитие. Първо, че стартираме партнерство с музей по едно и второ, лансираме нашето предложение за обучение на малко речи за обучение на 11 години за възможността на пътя, което е една доста актуална тема в нашата държава. Ще дам думата на Оливия Жан, който ще ви казва някакво думи за програмата. Чудо се да превеждаме ли? Да знаете ли английски? Добре! 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 Той ще говори на английски и после ще ви изпитаме какво сте чували. You raise the end and the last one I will translate. Okay. Now let's. Thanks a lot to be there actually, uh, and I'm really happy to see children actually because this is what we're doing now. Really, is really for the children. So uh, I just want to to emphasize a little bit uh, and to explain you why we did this uh, this partnership with uh, with Musico and with the and with the police actually. Well, uh, it's not uh, it's common sense let's say to see that in Bulgaria the organization fast work living are growing like everywhere in Europe. But I will say that in Bulgaria we've got to face let's say, three major uh, uh, stakes that are not uh, common in all Europe. First of all, we cannot say that the quality of infrastructure on the road are the best of the world, definitely not. Uh, unfortunately, all this urbanization is bringing uh, people to have more cars I should be glad of it, uh, as, a, as a note, but unfortunately it's not new cars that are bought, new cars, I mean with new technology, new safety features and so on, but it's a lot of used cars that are in very bad conditions. And uh, not, uh, last, last, uh, yesterday, actually, actually we, we saw what happens on the Varna Road, and it's, uh, it's a tragedy, so we are really concerned by this, uh, by this, uh, by this problem, and also by the, behavior, by the behavior of the driver in Bulgaria, which is also not the best uh, drivers in the world. Uh, I'm surrounded by Bulgarians, so I, I will not comment, but uh, it's, a, it's a fact coming from the police that the second, uh, let's say, major cause of accident in Bulgaria is the people that are not respecting the, uh, the pedestrian when they are crossing, uh, the, the, when they are crossing the streets. So all this, uh, and based on, uh, how can I say, the the knowledge of Renault and the programs that we had implemented before that were called uh, safety, uh, safety for all uh, and mobility for all uh, in different countries. All of this, having the new technology available, bring us really to focus on the, uh, and to put our energy on the uh, awareness, raising the awareness of the children on the road safety and the city danger, let's say. Huh? Uh, and, and the aim, the aim uh, of this is really for them to uh, but to take the lead, to be part and to understand in which world they are uh, living and uh, to take their own responsibility regarding to the, to their risk. So for this we have developed uh, an application, an application, an interactive game. Uh, so it's already it's called uh, the Road and I. The Road and I. The application is already available. You can download it on uh, on tablets, uh, whether it's Android or. Uh, uh, or iOS, and uh, and by the game, by the game, they are able to understand the danger of the of the city and uh, their mobility way in this uh, in the in the in the city. In Bulgaria, the Zavodki приложение, което е за таблети iOS и Android, което цели да образова децата между 7 и 11 години за безопасността на пътя. Също приложението е интерактивно и чрез различни упражнения и тестове обучава децата на основните правила за движение в града, разпознават светофарите, знаците, кога пресичат, къде пресичат, когато излизат за велосипед, с какво да се отличат и а, други основни правила за движение. Разработена изцяло от Рено. Също приложението съществува само на английски и френски. Ние сме първата държава, която го адаптира на български. Вследствие на което стартирахме партньорство и с музейки, които имат работилница Градът и аз. И ние се вписахме много добре като партньори и ще работим заедно върху образованието на дечицата между 7 и 11 години. Всеки петък между 3 
и 5 часа ще се провежда тази работилница, като тя ще е безплатна за всички посетители, тъй като е спонсорирана от Рено с съдействието на Музейко и главна дирекция Път на полиция.